This is the online sexual harassment training, iLearning registration, and iLearning website use video. If you're online and accessing the sexual harassment training video, all the information is posted in a PDF that's available on the Kerrville ISD website. This information shows you how to log in to the iLearning scenario and how to access the actual training module that you'll need. For starters, you will go to the Kerrville ISD website. Under Departments, click on Curriculum and over to Instructional Technology. On this website, you will see other online training modules including the Acceptable Use Policy, Bloodborne Pathogen Training, and the new Online Sexual Harassment Training. There will be a link open here to the PDF document that was just viewed, and then the link to this video training module, and then the actual link that will take you to the Region 20 iLearning training module on sexual harassment. When you click this link, you will access the Region 20 iLearning management system. If you've used this system before, you should have a username and password on record on how to log in. If you've never used this system before, you need to click here to register. When you go to the site, you want to be sure to enter information in the areas that are asterisked. The site does ask for a lot of information, but really make sure you just put in the information for the ones that are asterisked. Create a username a password, password confirmation. You can set a password challenge which is a question that you will have to answer to reset your password if you lose your password. Which regional service center, and we are region 20, by district. You can search for Kerrville and then select your campus. You may want to go ahead and select personal information restricted and that way it will not release your address or your phone number. Once you've filled in all this information, you'll click next. And within seconds you should receive an email back from Region 20. ESC20 workshops at esc20.net that includes your new username and your password and from this link you can click here to access the iLearning module again or simply go back to the website and click the link to access the iLearning area. Once you have your login and password Enter it here.